I don't get it. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, crying veteran. We moved on from that. We'll watch Lana stepping down, and then we'll watch fucking Idubs apologizing. Eventually, outgrow the leadership of their founders, and it looks like my time is now. Effective July first, twenty twenty three, after ten wild and very eventful years, I will be stepping down as CEO of Linus Media Group, Creator Warehouse, and Floatplane Media. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and I'm gonna try to answer them all here. Like, why now? Um, what's gonna happen to the channels and the lab? And if not you, who's gonna be around to tell us about our sponsor? The Ridge! Father's Day is coming up. Luckily, Ridge is having one of their biggest sales of the year. Proud. The truth is I was never really cut out to be a CEO. I remember putting it on my business cards in the early days when we had only four employees thinking, this feels ridiculous. And I've never really outgrown that. I'm a lot of things. I'm a bottomless pit of creative energy, an excellent motivator and speaker. I'm wicked smart. Charming, really funny. But in addition to those strengths, both real and imagined, I have a lot of weaknesses. And chief among them is that I've just- Linus sucks, he's an asshole to his employees and he's a libertarian, what? Dude, you can be, yo, this is proof right here, right in the fucking pudding, that like, you could be the kindest person on the planet and some motherfucker is still going to be like, he's a bad guy, I know it. Like, that is an insane take, man. That's got to be bait. No, man. Linus is a very kind person. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's literally not true. Why are you guys like this? He's like an impossibly nice person, too. It's like so weird. Never really had the attention to detail or the temperament that it takes to run an organization this large. I touched on some of this during my infamous 10 million subscriber stream, but the truth is, while I did manage to wrap that up with a positive message about finding motivation to move forward, none of those feelings I talked about ever went away. I wasn't built for this, and I'm tired. Like, really can't do this anymore, tired. And if I try to drag myself through another 10 years of business administration, I know I'm gonna destroy myself and probably end up killing the company and the community that I love so much in the process. I'm at my best when I'm pitching new content. Very kind in front of the camera. I've literally spent time with him and people who know him, he's not a nice person, he's an affectation for the camera. I mean, I've spent time with him off camera. He's very nice to me, so I don't know what you're talking about. Or product ideas, or when I'm problem solving ways to wipe garbage sites like user benchmark out once and for all. And I have some good news. None of that stuff is gonna be going away. My new role is gonna be chief vision officer, which is a stupid, like BS sounding made up role, but I, I think it really is the best one. We thought about creative officer, but that didn't really encompass what I'm gonna be responsible for because my gut and principles are what got us to where we are today. So I'm still gonna be charting the path that I think makes sense. We don't wanna lose our moral compass. Most normal to a shot? Yeah, no, literally. It's so, it gets so tiring sometimes to do what I do for a fucking living. Like, it is so frustrating. Because it's like, like, dude, there's like 4chan groiper chats that are fucking more chill than ours. You know what I mean? Like, like you are, you are literally your worst enemy, chat. I, I just need to know. I, I just need you to know. It, it, it does constantly feel like an uphill battle where I'm like literally having to battle my community to be normal all the fucking time and like hammering in to your fucking minds. Meanwhile, every single person on the outside looks at me yelling at my chat and says, wow, I should stay away from this fucking toxic sludge fest of a community and not collaborate with this fucking guy because his community is out of fucking control. And then, and then this, and then the, are we not allowed to li not like Linus? No, there's a difference between not liking Linus, who I do like, by the way, and uh, will defend for the most part, versus like just being like he's a human trafficker, axe murderer. You know what I mean? It's so odd. Just like a regular fucking guy.
You actually respond so chat knows whatever they write you listen to and maybe even try to internalize no matter how psychotic. <sighs> look, look at this. It just makes sense to be nice to you. No, maybe there's a difference between how he behaves with you and other people with their employees. Again, you just speculated that. You literally just, you, you are saying that, okay? You, you, someone put that out there in the chat and you immediately rush to be like, yeah, I kind of agree with it maybe. What if he is like that? Okay, what if he's not? God damn, dude. Fucking hell. But when it comes to the details of how to best utilize our resources to get there, I need some help. And I'm sure you have a lot of questions right now, like who our second sponsor is. Just kidding. We're going to get to that later. First, I want to talk about what isn't... <laughs> Did I really write that? Sorry. First, I want to talk about what isn't going to change. And the biggest one is the rest of our leadership team. Yvonne and I spent the last six months working with them on my replacement, which included having him work for us on a contract basis to ensure that they feel he is A, a competent manager, and B, the kind of person who can comfortably integrate into our team. They are gonna be continuing to work alongside him to ensure that this transition goes as smoothly as possible. The next thing that isn't gonna change is me. I am not going away. You can expect to see me on camera just as much as you used to. I mean, ideally maybe more, since if all goes according to plan, I'm gonna be- Every other streamer I watch outside of the Hasan Abu universe literally says the same thing. They fuck with the song, but don't wanna collab with him because of chat. You motherfuckers are literally cucking content always, always and forever. It's very, very frustrating. to be left to do what I do best, which is engage with our community, that's you, and create. Speaking of which, I'm going to be doing a Q&A session about this with the community in the next week or so. Make sure you're signed up at floatplane.com slash LTT so you don't miss it. Also not changing, our ownership structure. Yvonne and I are still the sole shareholders and directors of the company. This chat can be cringe, but come on, man, you know that is an excuse from potential collabs? No, man, that is not an excuse. Like... Every single person that I have fucking collaborated with literally is terrified before they come on. Do you know that? You don't know that because you're in the fucking chat. You're not a content creator that is collaborating with me and for the first time ever. They always leave very pleasantly surprised because chat is very accommodating once someone is on fucking screen. But like, yeah, the reality is that you have an incredibly contentious perspective of the content creator that you consume, and you probably think that it's, like, the right thing to do. You purity test me all the fucking time. So you go above and beyond purity testing every other fucking content creator under the insane considerations that you give me, the lack of considerations and the lack of accommodations, which is crazy. That expectation from, like, a normal human being is wild. That expectation of you before you fucking came into this community maybe four years ago, five years ago would be wild. You would not want to be judged in the way that you are currently judging others now that you're fucking woke and holier than thou. Okay? This is why I always try to say be normal, be normal, be normal, be normal. And a part of being normal is just like eating shit and sucking it the fuck up when people are saying shit that you don't agree with or having like minor disagreements with people in the fucking real world, I know that in an insulated, hyper-leftist, super-woke online community, you can get away with saying that kind of shit and then move on to another splinter discord and then another splinter discord as your circle gets smaller and smaller and smaller because you can shelter yourself from, like, opposing viewpoints or things that rub you the wrong way. But in the fucking real world, or at least, like, as much as I try to make this an expanding, large, and accommodating community that is centered around like empathy and trying to fucking learn and become a better version of yourself. It's not going to fucking fly. It makes me very frustrated when I see it all the fucking time in the chat. Normal people really don't want to spend energy trying to be morally righteous woke scolds. Exactly. It sucks. And I will never be able to reverse this. I feel like I try to do my very best to stop you from doing this. Even during the streamer awards, red carpet interviews, people said they don't want to mod your chat because of how fucking insane chat gets. Yeah. 
Are you saying you're walking around eggshells with shatters? No, I'm not. I can say whatever the fuck I want to this chat. I rip you in the shreds all day, every fucking day. Make you cry probably every now and then. But ultimately, you know that, like, you know, uh, I, I mean well. I'm well-intentioned. You can still be a little bit more empathetic to me, okay? But ultimately, most... Uh, but you, you don't have that same energy for, like, random people. <sighs> It just sucks. The person that told me about you described you as a political commentator that sometimes yells at chat. Yeah. And since you've been here for however many months that you've been here, you probably noticed that chat fucking deserves it. Like 99.9% .9 of the time. And the one instance where chat doesn't deserve it, where I like accidentally pop off on a chatter, I immediately apologize. Which then other people will turn around and be like, classic backtracking Andy. And then I fucking, uh, you know, yell at that guy as well. You've obviously yelled it. You've only yelled at me once. You probably deserved it. One of the most rad lit moments on the stream is when you got heated was when Chaz sided with the Swedish Nazi burning the Quran. Oh, yeah. That was fucking wild. I was insane. See, look at this guy. Look, I apologize for the sunlight. Linus is not a bad person. I was just chatting. That's how easy it is to manipulate like 20% of you incredibly fucking vocal freaks. I hope you understand that. That's how easy it is. Someone could just like, boop, put that in the chat. And then like 10 to 20% of you will literally immediately go, it's probably true. Fucked up. And you? No, I mean, I fucking yelled at that person for saying something wrong. So there hasn't been some kind of corporate buyout that's going to force us to sell our souls to cover their purchase investment. We did have a substantial offer recently to sell out, and I might as well speak plainly. The offer was $100 million. 60% cash. Yeah, it's uh, it's our fault. It's not your chat or anything. What? Hey, you fucking idiot. You absolute dumbass. What am I doing right now? I'm trying to fucking... I'm trying to yell at chat to be better. This is how I try to manage the situation. You're literally doing it right now in the chat while I'm actively trying to fix the situation. You are the problem. <laughs> like, sometimes you got to take a little bit of responsibility. I know what my responsibility is, okay? Take a week off. 40% shares in the... Okay, I'm not going to watch the rest of this. Fuck it. I don't even want to watch it. Okay. Uh, I I'm done. We're, we're here. Let's dive fucking headfirst into this shit. I miss the old iDubs. iDubs, friend of the show, Ian, For Ian iDubs, came out with a video that was 